Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. How are you all doing guys? I miss you so much. Um, from the title you would already know this is going to be a huge haul video and this is going to be a special haul video because it's going to be my last haul video. If you guys follow me on Instagram you would know that I have started selling off some of my collection. I will no longer be purchasing new bottles or adding anything new to my collection um, because there is a reason behind it and it's because I need to save up for a much needed surgery so I am no longer in the position of um, you know buying or collecting at the moment so I don't know what's going to happen in future but at the moment I will not be purchasing any more bottles so these fragrances were purchased prior to me, me making my decision saying that I will no longer buy any perfumes and um, yeah there's a lot so let's get through them um, I'm going to do like maybe um, the designer first there's not many but let's go through the cheapest and work my way up to the most expensive okay the first one I got was a small bottle of uh, green tea um, 15 ml spray bottle I cannot live without this fragrance summer is coming up and it's getting hot here already so I need this specially to keep in my purse uh, I love this one for summer perfect summer scent the second fragrance I got was far away paradise by Avon I've had this fragrance before and I gave it away because uh, I don't know why actually I think someone wanted it and I just thought, you know, I'd just buy it again. But I didn't know it was discontinued. And it was so hard trying to track it down. And finally I did. And I I don't think it smells the same as I remember. It's nice. It's like a fruity, floral kind of a scent. It's nice, but I don't think it smells the same. I don't know why. Anyway, that's that one. Um, and then I got a bottle of this one, the Marussia. Um, I'm not even going to say the name, who it's by. It's still sealed. Now, I don't really wear this fragrance. I just bought it for uh, like a memory kind of a sake. So, I don't know. It just reminds me back in the day when I was younger. And I don't know. Sometimes you want to smell that scent, you know? And it was a really popular fragrance to wear. I was a little bit young when everybody was wearing it at the time. But I do remember that scent. And I like, um, I don't like the way it smells in particular. But I like the memories it has for me. So that's why I bought a bottle. And it's very cheap to buy. Okay, the next fragrance is, I'll do this one. So... This is being discontinued. This is the Guerlain Cologne Lome Ideal. And at the chemist, they had them for $20. So I went and I bought a lot. I bought a lot of them. Seven in total. I gave one to my husband and I gave one to my son. And I kept five. This is a great, great fragrance, guys. This is total unisex fragrance. Um, the bottle is pretty as well. Um, it's just a very airy, refreshing, um, almond, uh, citrus type of a scent. Not too citrusy. It's not a citrus scent, actually. It's more of like a vanilla, almond, soft, um, but fresh, summery fragrance. And I think this one can be worn all year round. Totally unisex. If you go and try it, smell it because it's being discontinued. And if you like it, grab it now because they've still got them out there and they're still cheap all right the i think this is the last kind of designer i'm not sure but anyway we'll do this one this is a very special one i got as a gift it's the yves saint laurent um champagne but my bottle as you can see has nothing in, on there because this is a very old vintage bottle now I don't know if you know the story behind this fragrance but it was called um, champagne and the company that makes champagne the French company um, sued them 
and they had to change the name and they changed it to Ivresse. And then in the meantime, like the, they, there was about a, like a year gap maybe where they were trying to choose the second name. And so then they didn't know what to call it. So they just put nothing. So this one is basically unnamed, my bottle in particular. So this is quite rare. And my lovely mother-in-law, she got it for me as a gift when she came back from her holiday. I don't know where on earth she found it. Uh, this was in Mauritius. So I'm assuming they've got like a vintage shop there or something like that. And um, she grabbed me a bottle. She didn't. She doesn't really um, buy me perfume because she thinks I've got all of them. But I didn't have this one. So that was a very lucky thing and I absolutely love 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 this scent it's gorgeous now I'm going to talk about another gift that I was gifted and this is by a wonderful and dear friend she's so so lovely um I don't know if you're watching Angela thank you so much for this gorgeous gift this is the Truden uh gift set and it comes like this comes like that so you get five of their fragrances um there's the bruma olim number two uh revolution and mortel look how pretty that set is guys it's gorgeous and they're perfect spray size so I really, really love this. I have not even tried any of them yet. And it comes with a, like a booklet um, with their fragrances in there. And it just gives you, you know, some information about them. Oh my gosh. I am so, so happy with this. It's gorgeous. Thanks again. Um, that really made my day. I was having a crappy day and... I just opened the package and I was like blown away. Can't thank you enough. Okay, moving along, I bought one fragrance from Serge Luton's and it was the Vitriol Dio Duili. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's this one. And I love it. I love it. Someone, uh, I think it was a subscriber, they mentioned this one. If I liked, um, uh, what's the flower? Oh, I forget. Well, if I like that particular flower, then I should buy this fragrance. And I listened to them, and I did, and I am absolutely in love with it. Carnation. Carnation. And this is a carnation fragrance, absolutely gorgeous. If you like carnation, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Go out and get this one. It's gorgeous. Beautiful stuff. Okay, moving along, I've got this one. This is a discontinued one by Renee. Now, this is an Australian, I think, lady that went to Thailand on a holiday or something like that, and then she smelt all these gorgeous exo exotic flowers and fruits and that, and she came back to Australia and started making perfume or something like that and I didn't even know about this company um, and then they kind of discontinued the, the whole range or just no longer there but then I was I came across this one and it just this is a the tuberose parfum and I was like oh my gosh I need this because it's tuberose and I'm bound to love it and I do I do I do oh my gosh it's perfect it's a perfect tuberose fragrance very strong bold yellow um deep rich delicious tuberose fragrance and it's a parfum so it is quite heavy i'm so glad i found that one all right let's do the next one Okay, I'll do these ones. This is from Dior, their Privé line. I've added four new fragrances from the Privé line. The first one I added was the Santal Noir. Looks like that. Stunning stuff. I've actually tried the entire new line and not many of them 
um, were full bottle worthy for me. I like their spicy. I like their spicy stuff or their heavier ones. And I love the Saint Noir. Um, so I got that one. The next one I got was the Belle du Jour. Now, usually I would not go for something like this. It's a fruity floral scent, but it has a ton of vanilla. And on my skin, it is extremely gorgeous. And um, I actually tried this overseas and I wore it and I loved it. But the next day I had to come back here and I couldn't buy it. Long story short, I found it online and grabbed it. And it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it so much. It's it's a vanilla fruity floral, but it's long lasting and it's got that beautiful pear note. And on my skin, it just it's gorgeous. Uh, the next one I got was the purple oud. This one I blind purchased based on the reviews, and I kind of regret it. Um, I was expecting a lot more from this one. Everyone was raving about it. Purple old, purple old, it's gorgeous, this, that. Um, no, I don't know. I don't find it interesting enough. It's very bland. It's spicy. And it's, I think it's got like a tire note or something like that. And it's just, it doesn't last. I don't know. I just didn't find it to be spectacular. Like Saint Noir is gorgeous compared to purple old. So I do prefer this one. This one, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's nice to maybe layer with something else. I find that it's missing something. I don't know. And the last one I got as a gift from my gorgeous daughter, Lydia. This is Dior Amour. This one I tried and I loved. And I was like, wow, this is so, so, so delicately beautiful. And um, she, you know, wanted to buy me a gift. And so she surprised me with this one. She went online and she found it and she got it for me. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, I was so happy. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a soft, powdery, vanilla, um, I think, iris scent. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very feminine, beautiful stuff. Love it. And they do last on my skin. As I said, this one not so much, but the other ones they do. So I'm really happy with those four. All right, moving along, let's do this one. Oops. This is also a designer um, exclusive. This is the Magnificent Gold by Yves Saint Laurent. I love this house. I think their exclusives are excellent. I really do. I really, really love their exclusives. Um, I blind purchased this one. Now, this is the newer line. I don't know if you remember, but they used to have those little um, boxed kind of smaller, in the smaller packaging before they brought out these ones. And I've got them all inside. I thought that they were just kind of remakes and they bottled them in different bottles and they made them... Uh, I think they were 75 mils as well, yeah. They just re like redone them up. But that wasn't the case because Magnificent Gold is not included in the older packaging. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I thought I'd grab it. This is a vanilla, uh, I think powdery vanilla. Yeah. Soft. Smells like baby powder. Um, very nice. It's nothing new, I would say. It's not... Something that, you know, that's so unique, but it's so comforting and so cozy, especially now that um, some of you guys are uh, winter's coming up. Perfect winter fragrance, cozy, warm, it keeps you nice and snuggly, gorgeous stuff. Um, just not so unique, I would say. Alrighty, next one. Let's do this one. This is a vintage as well, discontinued. This is Bronze Goddess, um, I think 2011. I bought this for the bottle. I found it and I bought it for the bottle, mainly for the bottle. But I know that I'm going to like the scent because I do love this one. I have the very first one that came out and then I've got the 2017, I think, or 16. So I do have a few of those. 
and I know that I do love them. And same with this one. I love this one. This has got more of that sun-kissed uh, flower, like, um, what are they called? Those flowers, those, um, I've gone blank. But, you know, that exotic flower, beach flower, I'll write it on the screen if I remember. Um, this is more of, a, of that type of a scent. Suntan lotion, but more of that flower, that exotic um, beachy flower type of a scent. It's really, really nice. And the bottle, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. I'll make room and then I'll get back to you. Next fragrance I got was the Guerlain. What is it? It's my favorite. My favorite boozy vanilla. Spiritus Double Vanille in the older packaging. This is a backup. I got it as a backup because it's very, very hard to find these now. Look at the color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Guys, if you have not tried this scent, I know it's kind of hard to come by this one now, but if you have not, if you can get a sample or a decant from somewhere and try it. Try it if you love vanilla and try it if you love boozy vanilla, like boozy fragrances. Oh my gosh, this is the best boozy fragrance out there. So yeah, as I said, that was a backup um, because I already have two backups of those ones, but I, it's my favorite. I love it so much. Okay. Moving along. I will do this one. I'll do this. I got three from this house and it's the Ormond Jane, um, brand. It's, this one is the Oris Noir. I got this in the 50 mil. I'll show you quickly packaging and bottle. Comes like that. I like the Ormon Jane uh, packaging. I'm just not really a fan of the color orange, but I do like the packaging. It's it's nice and sturdy and good stuff. Uh, so it looks like that. Um, the next one I got. Oh, and this one was Oris Noir. Yes, it's a love. This one was a really really. I didn't think that I'd love it this much, but it's gorgeous. It if you like <sighs> iris perfumes, but kind of more of the rooty. Iris, then go for this. Go try it out. It's really gorgeous. I don't know if you know what Oris smells like, but it, this is a perfect example of that Oris root. Okay, the next one I got was Sampaquita, I think. And this is a perfect springtime fragrance. So if you're springtime, I'd say summer, but more spring. So if you, if you want to, you know, to buy a perfect springtime fragrance, a real good quality one, go for this one. It's just a, a floral, but it's um, like a fresh citrusy floral and perfect for the spring months. Okay, then the final one, I think, from Ormond. Yes, the final one is this one. Nawab of Aoud Parfum. This comes in the 120 ml bottle. I don't know if it comes in smaller packaging. I'm not sure. But this one, oh, this is gorgeous. This is a stunning, stunning fragrance. I've always wanted this. I blind purchased it. And I've always wanted it. And I'm so glad I did. I love, 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 love this fragrance. It's somewhat dry it's spicy but it's so elegant and so um it smells expensive it smells like you're wearing a very expensive fragrance and it is expensive it's very very expensive but it's worth it it's worth it i i just love it and it's very sexy it's kind of on the masculine side so it's not sweet or anything it's a proper spicy sexy fragrance oh i love it love it more than i would i don't really i don't get any of that synthetic wood at all like at all so they were my three ormond jane fragrances all right let's do this one all right this is by roger roger parfums and 
I've heard a lot about this one. This is the Elixir Pour Femme. Um, oh, to be honest, packaging was one of the main kind of... It made me buy it. It just made me buy it. Packaging, I love the Roger packaging. And this one is so pretty. It's got like a satin thing in there and inside. Um, and the bottle. Oh, the bottle is stunning. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous bottle. Gorgeous colour. How can I resist? Now, it's not something that I would usually go for because it's a very fruity floral type of a scent, but it's a good fruity floral. So it's very sweet. It's a little bit tart, but one that I can handle because I don't like tart perfumes and tart meaning like red berries, you know, red berry tart, like that piercing kind of tarty scent. I don't like that, but this one has a little bit of it, but I can handle it. It's very well made. It's a very, very well made fruity floral, um, fresh. You feel young when you wear it. You feel happy. It's just it's beautiful on my skin and I get a lot of rose and that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Love it so much. But it's a young rose. It's not um, something old. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. All right. Oh, my gosh, I've got so much more. Where do I start? Here, I'll do these ones, this one. So I've got one from La Tizan Perfumier. For per Perfumier. Perfumer. This is their... What is this? This is a line. So this is a bit different to their regular line. Uh, and this one is number nine, Arcana Rosa. Um, what can I say about this? I'll just show you the bottle because the bottle is quite cool. It's unique. Uh, what can I say about this scent? This scent is identical to Rose 31 by uh, Le Labo. In fact, it's the same perfumer. The exact same perfumer who made La Labo Rose 31 made this fragrance. So they're kind of basically the same. It's a fresh, spicy rose, uh, a masculine kind of a rose. So, and I do really, really like it. I just kind of have to be in the mood for it. You can't wear it like I can't wear it every day. I just have to be in the mood for that type of scent. All right, moving along, I bought three from Zoologist. And these ones uh, I have wanted for a while now. Uh, they just weren't available in my country. The Dodo. The Dodo. I bought this mainly because my husband is from Mauritius. And the Dodo is an extinct bird from Mauritius. So this was a... Um, and he wanted it, by the way. Well, he actually just smelt it and he didn't know what it was. And I said, is this nice? And he was like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. I want it. And I said, well, it's it's called Dodo. And he's like, what? Yeah, so he didn't even know what it was and he loved it before he even knew. And it's so good, guys. It's really, really nice. Beautiful stuff. And the second one I got was the Chameleon, of course. This one is a tropical, beautiful fragrance. Um, not suntan lotion-y, but more tropical. It's very, very nice. I love it. I'm not sure which one I prefer, actually. I don't know. But I do know that this one I like more than these two. The Squid. The latest one. This is a limited edition one. Squid Extrait de Parfum. I haven't even opened it. I got a sample and I fell in love. Instant love. So within, like, this was under one minute, I purchased a bottle. And, oh, my God, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. It's kind of, I wish I could show you the bottle, but I just don't want to open it. I don't want to open it now because I've still got some that I'm using, the sample. It's gorgeous. Um, I might put a picture up there for you to see what it looks like. Um, it's so, so beautiful. The scent it either works for you or it doesn't. It actually really worked on my skin and it smells amazing. It's very unique, so do suss it out if you can. 
Alrighty, the next one is by Botnikov. And what can I say about this? This one is the Le Exquise. Le Exquise. And I blind purchased this one because look at the notes. Bergamot, Rolly, cardamom. I love cardamom, champaka, jasmine, sambac, um, but that wasn't why. The cacao. I thought myrrh, cacao, camphor. I love those types of things. Tolu balsam. I love cardamom. So I thought it's going to work for me and I'm going to love it. I'm going to be so happy I bought it and everybody raved about this fragrance. Like I watched YouTube videos. I read... Um, uh, comments about it and everyone's like oh it's gorgeous it's perfect as this is that I didn't like it <laughs> it was a very expensive blind purchase that went wrong this is probably the only blind purchase that has kind of gone wrong for me I can't wear it it smells like old books but not in a good way I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I've not heard another person say they hate it but I just didn't like it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, I, I can't like it. I don't like it. There you go. I don't like this fragrance. And this, I would say, is probably my worst blind purchase. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And I blind purchase everything, guys. So this one, I don't know what... The other reviewers are on about when they're saying, oh, this is that and this is that. I don't, I don't get it. It smells like old rotting, rotting mold books on my skin and I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those who love it. I just don't like it. <laughs> there you go. I don't usually say I don't like something, but I really do not like that one. Okay. The next one is by Parfum Prisana. This house is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If you haven't tried anything from this house, go and try. Go and try. I tried all of their fragrances. And I I just literally want them all. But I only purchased Mandrava. Mandrava? This is stunning. Stunning, guys. Stunning stuff. Oh my god, I can't even describe it. You have to try this house. Super unique, super gorgeous, excellent craft, crafted perfumes. Just fantastic. Go try this house. Wonderful house. They're going to go somewhere, this house. I know that. Very, very good house. Alrighty, the next fragrance I got. Hang on, I'll just make room again. Okay, I'll do this one. Zerjov Mamluk from the Old Stars collection. Now, this is the older packaging. So this is a discontinued packaging. And this is the one that I initially tried years ago. I've tried this fragrance several times. And I have hated it. Could not stand this fragrance. Could not stand it. I really dislike this fragrance, guys. And then I just, I kept thinking about it. This, this fragrance in particular, I always have thought about and thought, why on earth do I don't like it? Why don't I like it? I love all the ingredients in it. I love all the, what it's supposed to evoke. And I just, something for me just smells off in this fragrance. Recently I found it and I thought I'd buy it and because I, I just wanted to smell it again. This is how crazy I am. I bought it and I'm in love. <laughs> I am in love with it. In love. Like, I don't know what's happened to me. And all I can say is maybe at the time of me trying it, it was summer. And it was stinking hot. And it just suffocated the crap out of me. And now in I tried it in winter and it's totally different on my skin. So that's probably why. Um, so there's a lesson for you. Do not give up on a fragrance and just, you know, write it off because you should try it in different seasons, different times, because you never know. I used to hate it. Now I love it. So weird, huh? 
All right, the next fragrance I got was by Mikalev, and this is the Vanille Oud. I've heard a lot about this one. Um, I wanted to pick up something with vanilla. Not that I need it, but um, I just thought vanilla and oud must be good, and it really is. Look at the bottle. It's so cool. Cool, cool bottle. Um, so, yeah, to me, it's a really gorgeous vanilla. I think this house makes really good vanilla fragrances. It's It starts off being a little bit synthetic, but then it dries down to something really, really nice. Um, so if you do love vanilla, this is more of a vanilla fragrance, more than oud. I don't really detect much oud in there. But if you love vanilla, then do try this one. It's a really good one. All right, the next one is also by um, M. Mikalev. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, it's this one over here. What is this? It comes in this gorgeous packaging. It's going to be hard to open. don't even know if I'm... Oh, yes. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my God. It's so, so pretty in there. Opens up like that. And there you have the fragrance. Now, this is the Rose Extreme. And it comes in this gorgeous jeweled bottle. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Um, the scent is really good uh, rose fragrance from what I remember old school definitely old school this one is not modern whatsoever so if you like that syrupy uh, strong bold rose scent you will like this one this is very very expensive to buy but it's you just need a tiny bit of it and you're good to go so that was that one rose extreme and the packaging is just awesome. Um, okay. Next, I've got a ton of these ones. So I went on a Raymond Monegal shopping spree and I bought a lot from this house. So I'll just go through them and then I'll show you a bottle. First one is the Ombra. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous. And this house works for me. I've heard so many bad things about this house, but honestly, I don't know why, because it's a fantastic house. They're nothing um, groundbreaking, but they're good. They're good. They work for me. Cherry Musk, gorgeous scent. I never even thought I'd like that one, but I do. Impossible Iris, this is one of their more popular ones. Um, Mom Patchouli, oh my God, if you like patchouli... Best patchouli fragrance ever. The best. Love it. It's probably my favorite out of all of them. Kiss My Name. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous tuberose white floral. Uh, cotton mask. Very clean laundry type of a scent. Very professional smelling. Gorgeous stuff to wear for the office or anything like that. Uh, Queerel. I remember liking that one. I think that's a... Um, a leathery one, I think. Um, Ombre de Luna. Oh, my God. Gorgeous, gorgeous amber fragrance. Beautiful stuff. Um, Mon Queer. Another leather one. These are all unisex, guys. They're not masculine at all. They're actually very unisex. Lovely day. A beautiful, beautiful, happy type of a fragrance. Um, Le de Rose, so is this one. This is a very happy type of a fresh modern rose. Um, and the last one I got was the Entre Naranjos. Now, this one, this one didn't work for me. This one, it's okay. I don't like not like it, but it, the opening, the opening, guys, is just... The opening is so, so, so strong and it's spicy 
with citrus. And those two combinations in this fragrance are not working. They're just not working for me. Um, the spices are like winter spice and then you've got your summery a lemon kind of a scent going on so it's just kind of contradicting itself but then the dry down is really lovely so I'm not sure what to do with this one I don't know if I should sell it or keep it I don't know but at the moment this is probably my least liked one but the rest are just gorgeous and funnily enough this one gets the most the best reviews so I don't know I don't know sometimes I don't trust Fragrantica because the reviews on there are very strange okay the next fragrance I got was this one this is a tester um, but it comes in the whole the normal packaging it just says tester I don't know why they have to ruin it like that but this is the what is this the number 33 for women by shake 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 I don't know Shake perfumes, and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the box. And this is the bottle. Whoops. Very, very strong. Oh my gosh. This very strong stuff. Um, this is a very lovely scent very very beautiful it's powdery vanilla floral yellow more yellow floral powdery vanilla yellow floral but so beautiful and feminine and just really really lovely um i just don't know why they're so expensive these fragrances i'm not sure why like i don't know some of you might like their packaging i don't I, th I think it's very cheap packaging, although it's heavy, don't get me wrong, but there, there's a lot of plastic going on and I don't know, I just don't like the packaging. But the, as the scent wise, it's gorgeous. Very, very beautiful scent. I can't even close the lid properly. God, what is wrong with this? Anyway, that was that. Beautiful scent, that one. So I'm keeping it for the fragrance. Don't care for the bottle though. All right, the next lot I bought were from one house again, and I've always been uh, curious about this house, and it's the house of Esteban Parfums. Look at the packaging. Now this is some unique packaging, isn't it? Look at that. I got Oriental Spice. Hang on, I'll show you the three gold ones because they they're in one kind of category. Orientalism and Ambrorient, Ambrorient or something. These three are kind of like um, the spy, the um, Oriental line, and they, yeah, they are really, really nice. I think my favourite one was the amber one, Ambrorient. I think one was okay. It kind of smelt um, synthetic. I think it's this one. And I like this one, I remember. Um, I will open one just to show you the packaging, but I'll show you this one. This is the Turbillon de Thé. This is stunning. This is a tea perfume. Oh, my God, stunning. I didn't even think that I'd love it this much, but I do. It's so, so beautiful. Beautiful, um, I think, summery kind of a scent. And the last one I got was Ambre, which is also a my favorite. This is probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, this one and this one. Oh, my God. Gorgeous stuff. I'm going to show you just... This is the packaging, right? You just take this off. So it's like a, a hair tie. And one on the bottom as well. And you open it like from the back. Like that. Whoopsie. And there's the bottle. So that's that one. It's so cool. I don't know. I like it. And then these ones are a little bit different. No, they're kind of the same. They're just gold. Gold lid. But, yeah. So I got them. Um, okay. Let's move along. I'm just going to make room again. 
Now the next lot are also from one singular house and it's the Pantheon Roma. And this is Raffaello. This is a men's fragrance, guys, but it's totally unisex. Totally unisex. So the bottles are cute and they look like that. This is a 50 mil. The 50 mil, mil and I'll show you. So that's Raffaello. Really strong, powerful stuff. Really good stuff. Um, the next one I got was the Donna Margareta. Again, in the 50 mil. Each one comes like with a... This is based on a story or something like that. And they're extract de parfums, by the way. And um, it tells you the story in... Italian, I think. I don't know. Oh, in English as well. So there's a lot to read um, behind these fragrances. So, and that's cool. I like that. Next fragrance I got was in the 100 mil because it's my favorite one. It's the Dolce Passioni. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the best. The best chocolate fragrance in the world. If you like chocolate, you must you must 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 get this one must it's definitely my favorite chocolate fragrance ever oh my god it's delicious and the final one I got that I love in so I got in the hundred mil as well is the Trace de Vier or something like that and this one has a black bottle and they're all extract de parfums, um, gorgeous stuff. This is absolutely delicious uh, gourmand. Um, so these two are gourmands and the back two, this, this is a floral one, the Donna Margarita. It's a tuberose fragrance, a beautiful tuberose scent, white floral. Uh, and this one is like, I can't even remember. I can't remember that one. But these two are um, delicious gourmands. This is Nutty Vanilla. A very nutty, uh, just oh, scrumptious, absolutely scrumptious fragrances. And yeah, so this last house I bought the most from, and there is a lot to get through. So I'm just going to show you what I got and then tell you a bit about them. So they are all from Ellie Saab. This is his um, like luxury collection line, you can say. Okay, and these are being discontinued, or they are, or something like that, so I grabbed them all. So the first one is Ombre, Vetiva, Gardenia, Oud, uh, Amand Tonka, this was very hard to locate, oh, very hard, and it's actually my least favorite, believe it or not. Turned out to be my least favorite and thought I would love it, but I didn't. Neroli. I got the Santal. I got the Tuberose. So basically, I got them all. Now, there's one missing and it's the Rose. And that's the fragrance that I'm waiting for still. It still hasn't arrived. And I've been waiting forever and they've lost it in transit and they're going to send me a new one and I don't know what's going on. But the rose one is on its way. So all of these ones I bought um, as a collection. And it's a fantastic, fantastic line. Um, some of these are really, really good. Others are okay. Um, so you open it up and you get like a card. And this is the amber one, which is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, so it's the essence number three, and they go like that. Essence number one, essence number two. And I think it's up to essence number nine or something. I'm not sure. But And they've got um, magnetic lids. That was a fail. <laughs> that was another fail. <laughs> You get the drift um so the bottles are quite heavy sturdy really good quality stuff the scent scent wise they're excellent as i said some of them better than others um there's one that i really really liked neroli <gasps> beautiful 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 summer spring fragrance um 
gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. The perfumer behind this um, line is uh, Francis Kekjian. So, and he has um, made all of them. So, they're pretty good stuff. So, they're still around. You can kind of find them at, I'm, I'm not sure where now because some of them have gone completely. But if you can find them, they're really, really good. Now, my favorite ones are the Ambre, the Neroli, the um, Tuberose, and maybe the Vetiver. Yeah, I think I like those ones most. And maybe Gardenia. So the florals, Francis Kirkjian knows how to do florals. He knows how to use orange blossom. He is perfect um, at using orange blossom fragrances in um, notes in his fragrances. So that's them. And then I have four more to go. Again, from Ellie Saab. This is the... Uh, Queer, Queers, the leather collection. Okay, so there are four in this collection and I have purchased all four. So this is the uh, Queer Patchouli. I bought the Queer Ylang. I got the um, Queer Absolute. And finally... Whoops. The the last one is the most popular one, I think, is the Queer Bourbon. Gorgeous vanilla. Guys, if you like vanilla, you would love this one. It starts off very boozy, very very um, leathery, and then the vanilla sinks in. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous stuff. I'll show you the bottle on this one. This one these ones open differently, so it's a box like this, and you open it like that and it comes in a beautiful uh, velvet pouch yeah so a beautiful velvet pouch like that and the bottles are inside the pouch just show you how it looks like they because they're different to the other ones um, so it looks like that okay so that's the other line, and this is the queer line. This is a more expensive one. Very good quality. Um, again, same perfumer, Francis uh, Kirkjian. So he does really, really awesome fragrances. So if you like him and you like his work, check this house out. Check these, these lines out. That concludes my video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was 47 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's so long. Um, I think that's all. And as I said, this is a special one, so it's allowed to be long. Um, it's my final haul video. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I hope to get surgery very soon. Although, um, it's, I mean, it's going to take time for me to actually um, sell some of my fragrances. And how I'm doing that is that I'm selling fragrances that I don't love like I really like, but I have to let them go, sort of like that. Um, so I wouldn't kind of sell something like um, like Squid, for example, because I love that so much. Like that's a definite no, you know what I mean? But things like if I really like them but I don't love them, then I have to let go of them. And that's how I'm doing it at the moment until I get my surgery and we'll see what happens from there. I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, but if you live in Australia and you are interested and you've watched my videos and you're interested in some fragrances that I do have and I might sell, just um, message me and let me know. I might be able to sell you some stuff, um, you know, and you're helping me out in, um, you know, saving up for my surgery. So, yeah, let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will catch you next time. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.